Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is a really tricky GCSE question. Give it a go and then watch for the solutions. And if you find this useful, then please do like the video and subscribe for more content. Right, let's get into the maths. Uh, we have a cone and we are told that the area of the base of the cone to the total surface area of the cone is 3 to 8. So I'm going to start by writing out the area of the base of the cone, which is a circle, which will be pi r squared. And that ratio is to the total surface area. So the total surface area is going to be the base, which is pi r squared, plus the curved surface area, which you are told in your formula sheet, and that is pi r times l where L is the slanted height of the cone. And we're told that that is uh, 3 uh, to 8. OK, great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to say that pi r squared, that's equal to 3 shares. And if pi r squared is equal to 3 shares, and we've got pi r squared on this side, it means that pi r l must be 5 to make up the 8. So I can say that pi r l is equal to uh, 5 shares. And the next and the really key point here is that I can solve these equations simultaneously, or to a certain extent, and the best way of doing that is to um, divide one by the other. So I'm going to do pi R L divided by pi r squared. Now this is going to be the same as well pi r l is five and pi r squared is three. So now I can divide um, top and bottom by pi to cancel that, and I can also cancel the r, and that will leave me with just one r on the bottom. So this gives me that L over R is equal to 5 over 3. And then I can multiply both sides by 3 and multiply both sides by R, which will give me 3L is equal to 5R. And that tells me that L is equal to 5 thirds R. And that's really helpful because now I can draw a right angle triangle on my cone and that will be a right angle in there this down the bottom will be r just the radius of the circle and l i can replace with five thirds r and i'm going to call this angle at the top theta because that's going to be really helpful in getting us our um, our angle avb so I can write that sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's r over 5 thirds r. And because we've got an r on the top and the bottom of this fraction, I can divide through by r. And that will leave me with just 1 on the top. So theta is going to equal the inverse sine of 1 over five thirds. So I can go to my calculator and I can do the inverse sine of one over five thirds. And this gives me 36.9. And the angle AVB is equal to just two thetas which is equal to 2 times 36.9. So our answer is 73.7. Bosh. What a question. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel for more GCSE content. Bye for now.